The following review is brought to you by the fine folks at EntertainmentEarth.com. Shop EntertainmentEarth.com today and bring Hollywood home. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? The Halloween countdown rolls on today and I am so excited because we're going to be taking a look at Titan's brand new Ghostbusters vinyl figures. Just look at them right here. I mean, I've got a Got a whole box full of them. What am I gonna What am I gonna do with this box? Um, maybe you should keep uh, watching the video because this this box isn't mine. It could be yours. All right, so let's get back to the review. Here is one of the boxes right here. Uh, blind box. Like I said, when you buy one of these, you do not know what's inside. You could be getting a Ghostbuster. You could be getting Gozer the Gozerian. You could be getting the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. You don't know. And for a completionist, um, I I've got to admit that can get a little costly. If you want to get the whole set of this, let me recommend you checking out EntertainmentEarth.com and buying an entire box. Do you know that box I just showed you? You can buy one of those. That is your best chance to get less duplicates and the entire set in one go. Because some of these figures, especially the rare ones, are going on eBay for about $40 to $50. Now all four of the main four Ghostbusters pretty much have the exact same body. Aside from the name tag being different, uh, there, there's really no change at all with this. All are in their Ghostbuster 110 uniforms, and they've got the same accessories on the belt. Both a radio as well as also one of the belt gizmos. Turning them around, you'll be quite surprised with the amount of detail that Titan was able to include on the Proton Packs. Now I will admit, there's a bit of a size discrepancy between the Proton Pack and the gun. The gun is just massive. But we have to give Titan credit. The way the gun actually mounts onto the pack is just like the real thing. There are two little hooks, both one on the pack, one on the gun. And once again, just like the real thing, you slide it down, it hooks on, and there you go. The gun is mounted. So yeah, you've got the main four guys. Peter Bankman, Egon Spangler, Ray Stantz, and Winston Zedmore. But uh, who else is in the line? This is one of the rare times when Film Janine actually got an action figure. We also have the Gatekeeper and the Keymaster, and man, Dana Barrett is rocking some crazy hair. The always lovable and huggable Terror Dog, which I would recommend getting two of these, putting them together. It would be an awesome display piece with our next character, Gozer the Gozerian. I mean, it could be anything it wants to be, including a vinyl figure. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and his Burnt Variant. Uh, the Burnt one's a bit more rare than the, the regular one there. And same goes for Slimer as well. There is the standard Green Slimer, as well as also a rare Glow in the Dark Variant. And to go along with the Stay Puft and Slimer variant, there is also the slimed Dr. Peter Venkman and the marshmallow-covered Dr. Ray Stance. And some of our keen viewers may remember my nerd block unboxing earlier this year, where it came with a 4.5 inch Ecto-1 from Titan. Well, that Titan is back, and here it is. This is the blind box Ecto-1 that's currently featured in the Titan line. And let me say, I absolutely love this line. I had the intentions of buying you know, four, five maybe, getting all the Ghostbusters and I was done. And I pretty much got all the Ghostbusters right off the bat, except for one, Winston. How could I have the series and not have a Winston figure? So I bought more boxes, over and over and over again. Got a couple duplicates here and there, but finally, got them. Titan, let me tell you something. You guys absolutely killed it with this set. The paint jobs are fantastic, and the faces, especially this Dan Aykroyd, Ray Stance figure, um, I actually prefer more than Mattel's 12-inch figure they released many years ago. For fans looking to get into this, I'm going to give you some advice. Don't buy one at a time. I know there's a link right down below where you can go to entertainmentearth.com and buy one of these. Keep in mind that it is random. You have no idea who you're going to get, but you are going to get one of them, and then you're going to want a second one, and then you're going to want a third one. And a fourth one, and a fifth one, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Hey, you know what? You guys get the idea. The best way to buy them is in the full box set. The price is a little hefty, but considering there's going to be 20 figures in that box, there's a really good chance that you're going to get everyone in that collection. Not saying you will, but there's just a better chance that way. And if you'd like a box of these for your very own, once again, the link is right down in the description. And while I have this right here, I want to tell you guys that we're going to be giving this away. Yeah, all 20 figures, the box itself, everything is going to be sent to one of our lucky viewers. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and find out exactly how you can win this. Link, once again, below in the description. So we hope everybody out there enjoyed this look at Titan's Vinyl Idols Ghostbuster series. And we'll see you right back here next time for another installment of our Halloween Countdown.